an accelerator program I can recommend you guys doing. It's called GSBI. It's from California. I can introduce you to the to the young uh, His name is uh, actually is not so I can do. Uh, but how do that? Do you have a website? We are also on the website. Because you know, those guys, they don't like just people talking. <laughs> you have to understand their position. <laughs> For them, if you don't have the basic, you just, it's just talks. It's just ideas. That doesn't make any sense. You have to have the basic to show. Website is very important. So, true. so when you have a website, when you have you create an account for your company in Twitter, in Facebook, for your company, in LinkedIn, for your company. Not for yourself, you already have that account, for your company. And then you stop a moment, but you need a website. You have to have a website. And on the website, um, SDG goals is very popular. You know the SDG goals? Yes. So you should put somewhere on your website a circular um, SDG goals, 17 SDG goals. So you need to mark on your website what other SDG goals that you guys are fulfilling. Because that's the new thing uh, in your space. So uh, recycling falls into different, cre job creation is part of SDG goal. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, partnership also is part of you. So you pick whatever it is and you document that on your website. Because now a lot of investments are based on SDG goals. You know? So, um, so yes, you need a work to find. Because I, I, I don't want to introduce you, I know how they work. <laughs> you see, I know how they think. If they go and check you guys out, they don't see you nowhere, they're not going to select you. But then you, you, you blow your chances. Um, so let me know when you, your basic things are ready. Uh, then I can use the introduction to those guys. Uh, but yeah, accelerating program is key. Um, there is only one good one here, but I don't think it fits. <laughs> So don't do too much accelerator. I've done nine. And don't ask me why. I've done nine, but you don't need to go out there. Too easy. Too, because it's time consuming. And a lot of time they do the same thing anyway. Uh, the best ones are the ones that actually bring it to you and give you money also. They're very hard to find. Uh, but spend time also researching. Because we're not in the same space. Uh, because we're more tech company now than a Energy company. So, uh, of course, tech company has no external things. Um, but um, I'm trying to think I like can package this. But right now, it's okay. You, you need to have the basic. You know, don't, don't rush into things like that. Just work on the basic. So, accelerate program, competition, of, but of course, you need those financial and you pitch them. And um, the, the, the next thing I want to do. Uh, I want to talk to you about is you, you need to come up with uh, what they call a value, a value proposition. Because you know, somebody coming and ask you what you do, you should be able to answer that. I now, value proposition change also is just like a business plan, it's organic. It's not because you have developed your business plan today that it, next week or next month you can't change it. That's not what it is. It's organic, it grows you. But at least you have to start something. And you change as you go. Because when you start, you always change. I've changed my business plan at least six times. You know, so you have to adapt to the market. Uh, but you say, you, have you already sold uh, cell phones? Actually, let me explain this. Before we used to have a big shop in the city selling electronic phone. So you have a shop. But the problem, at one time we failed because we didn't have a lot of experience. It's okay. So, so now we are resuming. Okay. Yeah, but so you restart. We you learn from it. We want to bring a new concept. Okay. Not just selling phones like other people do. Yeah, but yeah. also put this concept of information from a great idea. From us, yeah. And you can bring your item back and upgrade to a new model and yeah. we sell we publish that one. Yeah. But no, not just maybe just cell phone, but other thing. It, it, listen, it's a great idea. And I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that if it's packaged 
the challenge you're going to find is how do you monetize uh, when you become profitable? Because refurbishing is something new in Africa. Something really well developed in, in the West, but it's very new in Africa. So um, when you design your business, you have to develop your whole value chain. From the time, what, what are the different components to the value chain? From the time you get the phone, to the time the phone comes out of your factory and back to the customer. Um, the, the thing about uh, green technology or circular economy, it's, it's very tough business. Because compared to the West, Africa don't support those kind yet. They talk about it, but they don't believe really do it. And even Rwanda, they, they try to uh, support, but it's not the funding, taxes, you know. In the West, if you do green technology, you get tax exemption. You're still not there here, you know. So you're going to find out, don't be scared of the challenges. Huh? You, have, you know, business is more here than anything else. Right? <laughs> it's how tough you are here. Everything else, you know, if you're tough here, you, you end up finding the solution to your problem. The problem is people quit before they, 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 they find a solution because they just can't handle the show. It's highly stressful. I don't know how many times, how long you guys been in business, uh, you know, but I, I've always said to people, first, prepare yourself mentally, you know, so you need to develop your value chain. But of course, get started. You find out about the challenge you already have, but do it right. Look at the website. Don't, don't shortchange yourself. If you want people to come to you, you have to show that you're bigger than what you are now. That's what, that's what the key is. I'm telling you, it's, it's the key. You know, you have to show that you're bigger than what you are now. Everybody knows we start small. But when you build this social media website and all, it shows that you have vision, that you have a bigger picture. You know? If you don't show that, then to most funders or investors, you're small, you know, small, small stuff. So you have to have those basic things, you know. And and I would start accelerating the programs now, at least researching that. Because they don't require a lot of them. They don't have a lot of requirements. Most of the time they look for ideas, very innovative ideas, which is what you have. So you should already start researching you know, which one you're gonna select. And then um, and then start researching for competition. Guys start doing competition now. Don't wait till everything is set up because every competition takes three to six months before you get uh, results if you pass on So it takes a long time. Yeah, that's so by the time you apply, your business has already evolved. You know? And my, I always say you have to apply for 20 to 30 competition every year. That's the key number. You apply to those you win at least two of them. At least two of them. If you're not good at writing competition and all this, or you don't feel confident, you're going to have to find a, but, but that will cost you. Right now, somebody, you guys are three. Somebody who's a good writer, understand the business, should apply for, should do the writing on the company. So you guys are to, to direct tasks. So one is dealing with the document and pitch deck and all. One's dealing with looking for accelerator program. I mean, yeah, accelerator. Another one dealing with researching uh, for, for multiple, you know. The, the beauty is when you have a partner, you can delegate tasks. The more tasks you delegate, the more impact or the, the faster things will move. You know, but don't waste time. Because it takes time to build uh, a business, to get some money and all those things. Another thing is, um, and that's the lucky uh, the one that I have is, start doing conference. Because when you hang on social media, guess what? People start inviting you to be a speaker about this area. Especially if there's not that much competition, which you don't have competition with. Really. Uh, except government. Even then, they, I don't think they do refurbish yet. Uh, so when you, when you start having a heavy presence online, People start inviting you to speak on conferences. You need to position yourself as an expert in your field. That's key. That's important. Because now people come to you instead of you going to do it. But that will take time. That's a long term game. You know, that takes years. It takes two or three years. But you build that shit now. You know? You don't wait 
everything to be perfect. So th those are the key areas I would just start, you know, um, and and start building what the, the, the basic documentation, the pitch deck, and all. The good thing about accelerator program, they can do a lot of those things for free, even web design for free. You just got to find the right accelerator. You know, um, the GSBI, um, now that I'm thinking about it, GSBI are more into companies that um, already have some type of traction, now that I'm thinking about it. But you can save them for later, you know? Yeah. So, um, in Komoko, you know in Komoko, yeah, I told you about them. Have you, did you contact them? I used to get the, the, the CEO of in Komoko, that's right. You should already come because they work with startups. Yeah, but first I, I was in the Disnama that was. The what? Disnama that was. That's right. Disnama. Is it an instrument of the Disnama? What's that called? It's called Disnama Half Faces. Where, where, where are they from? Uh, they are they're from America, but they are Pachi and Nepal. Okay, you know more, but, but be careful now. I mean, be careful. You should focus on accelerator program that fit into the the sector you in. Does it make sense? Yeah. Because some accelerator program focus on tech, some other fintech, some other renewable energy. I know one in Amsterdam, renewable energy. Actually that might be interesting for you also. It's called Lockstar. 